I want like if you get a wood. Natalie! Natalie, how come you and Dad are home so early? What do you want? Can I tell you something? What? I wrote a book. Cool. Do you want to read it? No, not now. When? Not now. When? So has all the papers been sent? So everyone's got a copy of all the charts and all the spreadsheets? Great. And are all the investors going to be there? Good, good. Because this has got to go smoothly. Yep, yep. Now we can't have any mistakes. No, I don't want Bob there. Don't want Bob there. Okay. No, no, that'll be just fine. Okay, Carl's here. I've got to go. Publish it or something? No. Why not? I don't feel like it. Okay. Do you want to read it? I have my trials this month. Maybe later. 
Do you want to hear the plot? Okay, sure. It's about a 12-year-old girl who lives with her family. One day, her whole house is bombed and her whole family disappeared. She survives and has to find a place to live. She goes on adventures and meets many... Are you listening? Hmm? Yeah, keep going. Hey Natalie, do you have time now? Yes. Can I tell you something? Okay. The first chapter of my book is going to be published in a magazine. I thought you didn't want to publish it. I wanted to surprise you. And Dad. Have you told Dad? Do you think he would be proud of me? Yes. Let's introduce on the stage Audrey Orman, the author of the best-selling fiction, Bluebird's Nest. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I've started writing as young as the age of six, I would say. I love writing all along. It is my entire life and the purpose of me living. So I'm wrong? Sorry I asked. No, I'm wrong. So I'm wrong for working as hard as I am to earn money for you? No, I'm wrong. Yes, you are wrong and you should be doing what you're meant to do. Well, maybe you can talk to me and I will be on my phone all the time. Hey, look, we're all stressed with all that stuff to do. You've got your job to do as well. You have no idea the stuff I'm going to do. Audrey, have you seen my chemistry textbook? You didn't knock? No. I left it on the dining table this morning. No. Can you get out? What's wrong? Nothing. Did the magazine come out? No.
You wrote all these stories? I used to love writing. You've written so much. You should publish them. No, they aren't very good. And I didn't want anyone else to read my stories. Can I read them? Yes. Do you want to read my story too? Blue Bird's Nest. What is it about again? It's about a girl whose house was bombed. She escaped and met many friends on the way of an adventure. Why did you write a story like this? I don't know. I guess I've always imagined what would happen to me if her house was bombed one day. Where would I go? Me too. Thank you.